Hello, family. Hope you all are having a fantastic Saturday afternoon, morning, or evening. Okay? Just wanted to stop by, do another video for you guys. Of course, I'm pre-recording, so I'm actually doing it Friday. But I know I won't be doing too much but yard work tomorrow and I might be tired. So I'm trying to fill in my Saturday by dropping some videos for y'all. For those who are going to be in Atlanta and it's cold and you ain't going to go outside and you're tired of looking at TV. Come on over to the Family Affair. Get my pre-recorded video, honey. And let's talk about it. But we're getting it from UrbanBellMagazine.com. And none other than Amanda Anderson Niles is our correspondent or our journalist writing up this article for us to partake of. Why don't we get right on into it? I think we shall. Um, it goes in to say as a title article, Real Housewives of Atlanta star Nene Leakes has never seen Kenya Moore and Mark Daly be lovey-dovey. Okay, this is what she's saying. All right. And she's definitely said it on Real Housewives of Atlanta. And probably more so coming up of uh, the new episode coming up uh, this Sunday. All right. It says Real Housewives of Atlanta star. Stars Kenya Moore and Nene Leakes are in the middle of a nasty feud. Interestingly enough, Candy Burris thinks they don't get along because they are so much alike. However, Nene is making some observation of her own. Observations of her own. I'm like, oh, go ahead, Nene. Speak. Speak. Talk to us. Talk to us. Tell us what's on your mind, honey girl. And she goes on to say, uh, she makes an interesting one on the upcoming episode. While attending Mark Daly's charity event, she once again pays attention to Kenya's and Mark's interactions. And she says that she never seen the couple be lovey-dovey with each other. She thinks this is strange. And Lord knows, just like I said, it is strange. You mean you could be out in them streets? uh creating nothing but beautiful music to together but on this show you can't give us nothing but rasticity uh feuding with your husband you saying he's not taking up for you which he should be taking up for you y'all don't share no love i don't know i don't never see no two-stepping i don't never see no warm embrace between you two and if it is some type of interaction, you got baby girl Brooklyn sitting there so he can't get or you can't get too close to him like you are on this photo. Never have seen you all interact on TV like this. Only in photos, honey. Girl, how they say? Pose scenes, pose picture, picture images to give you the appearance that everything is okay. What y'all think about that family? What y'all think about that? But going back to the article, it says, Real Housewives of Atlanta star Kenya Moore has opened up about her marriage problems while she loves Mark Daly. She doesn't feel that if he pays her enough attention and his career takes priority these days. She feels their daughter Brooklyn comes before she does in Mark's life. So again, that's why Kenya, Torah lovers, need help she needs psychological help or she is she just bringing that in as well as y'all saying she's just playing a story that's not really her so what do you think about her saying on tv in the story a reality tv excuse me that she's giving us that she's saying brooklyn meaning baby brooklyn their daughter is getting more attention than the mom okay which is her kenya moore now, who would say that? Who in their right mind would say that about their own child, their miracle baby, their baby that they always wanted? You going to play favorites, can you? Really? Is that what we're doing as twirls? Is that what you're expecting of Kenya Moore to say that she can't put her daughter before her when it comes to the man? Girl. Girls, get in them comments and tell me what y'all think about that. Is it just being embellished, the storyline? Is this just a true storyline and it's not real? It's not how can you really get down? Then why does she say it? Okay, because that's like putting detriment, trashy look on her for even making and commenting and then speaking it out into existence. She's jealous of her own daughter? Mm, that apple don't fall too far from the tree, huh? And I'm talking about Kenya Mama on Kenya. Is it, it, are we repeating a pattern? A generational curse? 
that's going on, think about it, can you? Get yourself in therapy. Get yourself in therapy, honey. So you can break those generation curses. You can stop playing out a part that you were played victim on or you're playing victim on and you just keep going with it, keep going with it, keep going with it instead of not playing victim anymore. Address it, stand in your shit, recognize it, and move on. Not in this article. That's my sidebar. But going back to the article, she hasn't expressed this to Nene Leaks, but Nene has picked up on the tension. On an upcoming episode, Nene says that she's never seen Mark and Kenya be lovey-dovey with each other. And they act as if they have some kind of agreement. Like, yeah, it's a contractual agreement. They only are permitted to show this, that, and third of loveliness and kindness toward each other on whatever terms Kenya has set up in the contract for them. Other than that, he just say he her husband and, and don't say nothing else. She'll do the rest. That's the contractual agreement they have. Okay. Going back to the article, it says Kenya March tell, uh, attention at Mark's charity event is very noticeable by the others. And Kenya even admits that she envies how happy the other couples seem in comparison. Okay, so I'm like, okay, so now Kenya, you telling us the truth now? You really not happy for Cynthia? You really not happy for Eva? You really not happy for Kenya? Uh, not Kenya, you, Candy? You're not happy for Nene? You're not happy for a Tanya. You're not happy for anybody because you're miserable. Misery loves company. And since nobody else won't get on your choo-choo train for the misery, you got to go make theatrical negative uh, things happen in your circle of so-called friendship so you can stand, so they can hurt just as much as you're hurting. Is that what kind of person you are, Kenya? Are you telling us the truth or are you acting, baby? Which one? Because you're doing it poorly if you're acting. Because Lord knows if the twirls find out that you was faking this whole storyline just to get back on TV. What would they think of you, Kenya? What would they think of you, honey? The ones, the ride or die ones. Okay? Not sure. But if it's all paid and meant for television, why don't you go on over to the soap opera world? Because at least we won't have to, like, pick you apart and, and tear up what you... Some of your believers or uh, followers believe that you have a heart of gold. You have a heart of gold and that you're really just playing this ratchet part just to keep making money. And my thing is, why would you want to play a ratchet part? You're educated. You're talented. You uh, started your own business. Uh, why do you need to be a part of a ratchet TV show? I would rather see you go in and be... A uh, actress on, you know, soap opera, you know. At least you're playing a character. It's not necessarily you. And you won't get too much backlash. But, hey, it just is what it is. If you like freaking with the Hollywood weird people getting down the way they do, selling your soul, um, doing ungodly things, go do you, girl, do you all day. But let's check out this clip they say they have. Uh, this latest, latest, uh, latest episode that's coming up. This uh, Sunday. The few times I've seen Kenya and Mark together, I've never seen them lovey dovey. It's always like, Standing over here, she's standing over. It's almost like it's an agreement. Come over here. Can just thank everybody. Thank everybody for coming. Oh, sorry, brother. I'm sorry. I was listening. Thank you. Thank you, brother. I appreciate you coming and supporting I want to quickly jump in and tell everyone thank you for coming and supporting Thank you for having us, Mark. Let me introduce my wife real quick. Okay. Is Mark happy? Who? I don't know where he went to. He's like, he's like, all of the couples seem to be happy, just enjoying each other so much. I'm just really disappointed. So even in that scene that there's giving us, she seems like she's disappointed. She seems like she's angry. She wants to be uh, sitting there with her man. 
on her arm or next to her and she wants to be schmoozing but you know it's just crazy he's just totally in this the scene that i guess is coming up for um the episode we're gonna see sunday where nini was talking about you know mark is not a lovely lovely person even though Ken, uh, candy says oh at the restaurant the olg when they come around oh he is lovely and he loving on ken he did it can hush okay and we tired of hearing you because what he's showing us on tv is the only thing we got as proof of how things really transpire and like i said if ken is on this show and it's totally opposite and they're just playing a part then what the hell is a reality show it's supposed to be somewhat truth in here okay a lot of truth and a little embellishment so you know if you got more looking out out here because he playing a part that you wrote for him you know you are messing him up because people are not going to always have that forethought to look beyond they're going to just be giving that face value what we see on tv and they're going to be judging po mark okay and i say po mark because like i said he just got in the mess with you. You're a producer. You're an actress. you this, that, and the third. So who? it's plausible that you could come up with a fantastic storyline. It just needs to be enacted, implemented, and don't have no recourse about whether it, how it lands in the public. As long as we driving up ratings, don't worry about nothing. I'm like, girl, who live in that world? Except for satanic people that are uh, full of greed and prosperity to the hill where they oozing out and they don't know what to do with it. Instead of them giving it out as charity or whatever, they be like, uh -uh, I'm trying to wait and see if I'm going to lose anything. You know, people just want money, 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 money. You know what I'm saying? Like it's going to go out of style or something so they just have to have a corner of the market on it so that's all i pretty much have for this video guys y'all get down in them comments interact with me tell me what y'all thought y'all thought mark was being his old good old self or you think he was just being a bit too much and he just needs to be silent or do you think <laughs> they are a perfect couple? They just the uh, master manipulators of social media as well as entertainment to where they are laughing at all of us, okay? Because we got it wrong. They just putting out a part that can you put as in a storyline and playing it out to the hip. They really are happy you know, uh, behind closed doors. I'm like, honey, you can forget all this shit. I don't care if you pay me two zillion dollars. You know, zillion ain't even out there yet. Ain't nowhere in the world I'm going to play one facet here and another facet there, knowing I can't keep up with both lives, okay? It's going to seep. It's going to show. It's going to come to fruition. Everything that's done in the dark will come to light, okay? But y'all enjoy this video. Share the videos, like, and comment, okay? And I will see you next video. See you later.